Hey everybody, welcome back to Divinity, Original Sin 2. Uh, we just ran into Migo on the beach. Uh, we started chatting with him, he seemed a little bit nutty, and now he's dead, because he attacked he seemed us. perfectly normal to me, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> he was the murderous geist. Um, you know, there were blood and corpses around him. We should have given him a wide berth, he attacked us, and then now he's dead. So, it is what it yep. is. Um, it was a tough fight actually, because um, Luckless set both him and Sebel on fire, so... See, you were saying that I need to practice. I think you need to practice. Yeah, we like to make things I'm difficult. I'm ahead 3-0 in setting myself on fire. In the fire department? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'll work on that. We'll see how we do. Uh, so okay. a couple the of things. The other thing that I noticed was, uh, I've got a Tusa's leg in my inventory that yeah. I should probably munch on. Yeah. Should I do that right now? Yeah, make sure you eat that with Sebel. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm gonna listen to you eat it. There it is. What is Virtus? Do you know what that is? Atusa was helping people escape, I believe. That's yes. what she was being questioned about. Exactly. I I remember Virtus from when we played the early access. Do you remember there was like um someone that was on like a table? Like on like a what what do they call those? The thing that like stretches you out or whatever? Yeah, okay, like a torture <laughs> thing? I re yeah, like a torture thing. I remember him talking about Virtus. I don't so recall. Torture I, so ha happens so regularly in my life that they all blend together, you know? <laughs> <laughs> he must escape. He cannot die I don't even want to know. Okay, so that's a cool here, little yeah. hint. So that must be who she was helping to escape. Um, got some journal updates there. Yeah, do you want to cover it off? It's in the escape section, the ver yes. very first one for me. Eight. Okay, great. So um, there was two entries, I think. We've heard of some sort of gang leader called Griv. Perhaps someone like him will know of a way to escape. No, that wasn't it. After part of Magister Atusa was eaten, we discovered that she wanted to help someone named Verdis to escape from Fort Joy. Perhaps Atusa had accomplices. Perhaps we'll be able to escape with their help. I would also check your uh, Sabeel entry. That's probably a good one. Um, that hasn't been updated yet. I think okay. I, I read that one last time. Okay. Oh, signs of resistance. After her flesh was consumed, we learned that Atusa was trying to liberate someone called Veritas from Fort Joy. We should keep an eye out for this individual. There we go. Okay. Good, good? Good. Okay, so we're heading back towards uh, Griff for a couple of reasons. Number one, um, we realized that the orange that we picked up from Stingtail's body is worth 200 gold, and this could very likely be the supplies. It is food, and it's like very specific and the most expensive thing that we own now. Uh, so if we get a chance to give that to Griff, cool. If not, whatever. Um, we also have uh, Sabeel. Or no, yeah, Sabeel. Who yeah, wanted to go and talk to Griff. I know so, something about the master. Yeah. I'm a little bit behind you if you can just wait up a second. Sure. I can't make these guys run any faster, unfortunately. I didn't pick up anything in that barrel, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Also, uh, trap door to the right, if you'll notice. Right, yeah. Okay, so let's, do you want to talk to him, or do you want me to talk to him? Maybe have Sebel, yeah. oh, Sebel. Whoa. whoa. What's Who's got weapons here? out? Noosey does. You've got your weapon out. Me? Why do I have my weapon out? I don't know. Are you in, like, combat mode or something? I don't know. Uh, toggle Put it away, buddy. Toggle actions. Toggle Jeez. those actions. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, there you what go. What the hell there was you go. that? <laughs> I'm fit for beasts. All right, are you going to talk to him as Situation Sebel? Fixed. Yeah, I'm going to talk to him as Sebel. Okay. You forget my name here. Yeah? Everything now? Let me have a word with the gentleman, would you? Oh. I have a little clue to follow up on. Okay, hey, dude. Now I don't know about this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you. <laughs> You're Seb you're Sabeel. I'm not gonna say anything. I think I think we can trust her. All right. Go ahead. Be, be like, feel free to speak first. Sabeel steps forward and asks Griff the cook about the lone wolves. A dead little birdie told her he's the man to talk to. <laughs> A dead little birdie. A dead little birdie. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> A little back and forth ensues. Money crosses hands, and before you know it. Sabeel stands back beside you, all smiles. See, it's all good. Uh -huh. Thank you. We should make good on our escape, you know. I have to see a man about a wolf in the Hollow Marshes. 
A big bad wolf? Naught but a whelp in skillful hands, I'm sure. Zalaskar's his name. A name for the taking, if it comes to that. Okay. Zalaskar. I'll never remember that name. Of course um, not. I'm going to approach as well and see about this elf situation. Okay, go Griff ahead. I'll glances listen. from his blade to you and back again. Hand over Griff's oranges is straight up here. So I'm going to actually discuss the deal okay. and we'll see where this leads. You already okay. know the terms. Nothing else to say. All right. Well, we found your oranges, I guess, is what they are. Griff tears into one of the oranges with both hands. Juice squirts through his hands as he desperately rips yeah, that makes through sense. the rind. I don't know of any other oranges that are worth 200 gold. Looks like everything's accounted for. Now the important question. Who's the thief? Well, <laughs> I'm going to be honest, honest about it. Yeah, I mean, it was this stay yeah, tail guy and we took care of him for you. He, yeah, he should be happy. Looks like someone did my job for me. Damn right, we did. Your guy's free to go. He should be fine. Dude, that's... Eventually. Okay, this is good. What did I tell you? Sabeel knows how to handle business. Okay, this is good. He's gonna unlock. It is done. And quickly. I thank you. Are you very, chatting? Very he, he auto He's auto-chatting, so if you want to listen, it's probably important. Okay. Yeah, I'm listening. In. I hold my end of the bargain. I show you the way out. But I have something more to ask of you. What do you need? Sahela, a young girl here. I am her protector and she is... She is everything. A ruler, a seer, a knower, a child. She cannot, <coughs> cannot be lost here. Okay, and what can we do to help? It is for all our people, for the world. Give me your map. <coughs> I show you the way out. A secret, dangerous, but it leads to freedom. I give you this amulet. You must pass it to the elves who still remain. Tell them Sahela is here. They will send help. Please. She is important. So my understanding is right where he's not telling us where Sahela is. He's telling us to get out when we pass this to the other elves. And they, they'll know what to do, I guess? I guess. I go to her. I wish you good luck and I thank you for us all. She sounds really important. I wonder if we should, like, follow this guy. Do you want to see where he leads? Uh, sure. You're not very good at following elves, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm following this guy pretty well. <laughs> I feel like he's going to disappear. Uh, is he? Oh, we've got a know. cave entrance here. Hey. Oh, we knew about this. Yeah, I'm going in. From the din okay, Elodie's here. We got a... This is a place full of elves. Oh, this is where all the elves are. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sahela, you are all right. And Sahela's here. I am fine, Amiru. Oh, okay, cool. I am fine. I know they help us. Yes, they do. It is as you say. Oh. oh. Are they talking about us there? It sounds like, yeah, like, as I know they say. help us. It is as you say. As you say. Okay. Okay. Let's talk to uh, Sahila. Do you want to listen in? Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Okay. Oh, and she's permanently blinded. She breaks into a huge childlike grin as you approach. One friend brings another home. Thank <laughs> you. She was expecting us. How's uh, Amiro doing? He gets better. Little by little. We are together. We always get better if we are together. Okay. So, he told us to bring you back a token to your people so that they're going to come and rescue you. Her face falls at the mention of her home. Her hands fly instinctively to her eyes, as if to wipe away tears. But... My people. Oh. I miss them. But they cannot save me. What do you mean, why can't they save you? 
It is not to be. We stay in Fort Choi. They stay elsewhere. This is the way. This is the only way. Okay. Where's elsewhere? Homeland is gone. Home is wherever my people are. My mother is amongst them. Tova, her great elf. I do not mind Fort Joy, but I miss her very much. Yeah, we miss our people too. Yes. It is a deep hurt. In my tribe, we say, the heart lives in the family cookpot. <laughs> it is true, I think. Nothing like a good home-cooked meal. No. Um, look, Amiro showed us a way out of here. You should come with us. We can protect you. Thank you, my friend. But only you survive the passage. I see it. You are free. We must remain. So she has some kind of, like, foresight. Yeah. So the blinding kind of makes me think that she's, like, uh, like she can see the future or whatever. You know, and, the, mm -hmm. and he's saying, like, um, as you said it or whatever. And he mm -hmm. said she was kind of all-knowing. Um, we can insist that she comes with us. We can... I don't think we can, like, trick her. Oh, it's gonna be a fun little trip. She already knows, so I don't think it even matters. Yeah, she matters. knows it's gonna happen. I don't even think I don't it know. I think, I think we just remind her what the stakes are here, and she can decide for herself. Okay. I see your heart. You want only to help. But if you want to help me, you must go. I, I mean, it seems like she knows better than us. Yeah. She squeezes your hand. I do not forget you. Remember me, too. Interesting. Okay. Um, Weird the way that she said that. I do not forget you. So it's like in the, she's talking about the future. Yeah. Just the tense that she's using. It's weird. That Yeah, maybe she's like, she views the future at the same time, or she's met us before in some, I don't know, some weird way. Could be. Could be. Uh, one thing we should start doing is looking at uh, options to trade more often. Um, mm -hmm. So she's got like, yeah, she's got an identifying glass. Survive. And I remember in the early access, we had this where we could um, analyze and classify equipment. We don't have anything it needs classifying. Do you think we should buy this now, or we can wait, or what um, do you think? It's 105 well, how much does it gold. Cost? 105 gold. I've got 220, 220, and I could sell a bunch of books that we have marked as wares. You're going to sell books to a blind girl. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I would, I would do that. Uh, Chris, Christopher Odd, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'll just sell her the books, and we'll we could buy an identifying glass when we need one. Okay, go go for it, go yeah. for it. Sell she, sell the blind girl books. To be fair, she has sheets of paper here, so I'm just saying. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's done. Uh, we got a reward here. Um, she's giving us gold. Oh, cool. She's giving us small magic armor potions, so we can restore magic, or we can. I don't know if it restores. Let's see. Or it it chance and strengthens. Armor? Yeah, 30 magic armor. So that's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. Um, do you, you don't see the rewards that I have up right now? No, I can't see. Uh, I can't even listen on a conversation, so I don't know. Okay. I don't know how I would see it. So uh, she has rawhide scale pants. It's nine physical armor, level three, and some fire resistance. Uh, a wizard coat, which is magic armor mainly, and it gives plus one to summoning, which is, I guess, cool. Oh. Um, there's That'd a be good for you, right? Yeah, yeah but, but listen to these. Dead. There's a magical dagger, 150 Ooh. crit chance, plus 3% dodging, and can backstab. I don't know if it's 7 to 8 physical. I don't know what you're carrying on, uh, Sabeel. It's and 3 to 4 physical, so that's like double. We also have, uh, magical elven bow. 10 to 12 physical <sighs> damage, and 10% crit chance, level 3. Yeah, they're those, both of those weapons are double. The base damage of the weapons that I have. All right. What do you feel like you need more? The the magical dagger or the bow? I think uh, the daggers because I think all of the attacks that uh, Sibyl has are based on her weapon. Okay. So let's get those daggers. All right. It's just one dagger. Like you have oh, two. Oh, it's just one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah. Let's go with the bow then. Go with okay. the bow. Okay. I've got the bow. I will Sweet. send it to you. Um, we also, so this this crest that um, uh, Amiro gave us, we can actually wear it. It's plus one intelligence, uh, plus 10 poison resistance, and plus one lucky charm. You so 
Do any of our characters actually use intelligence? I do. My Maybe. all of my summons okay. are based on. Um, uh, sorry, my dimensional bolts based on intelligence. So I guess that's okay. the only one. I guess maybe I'll just wear it. Okay, I just it gives you poison resistance, which you don't really need. I know. Um, Los, Los does have one skill that uses intelligence, and uh, All right. the poison resistance would be better on her, I think. S sent it. I'll just take everything. Yeah, great. I'll do all the work. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to talk to Elodie here. This is the elf that ran off Thank at the very beginning, if you want to listen in. Thug. Oh, weird. I can't Where seem to the human who equip goes it. Against their own for an elf? I'll wait. Let me know when you're listening. Okay, and... I'm listening in. Okay. Um... <laughs> uh, look, I'm glad to have been of help. Not that I prefer to be judged by your actions, uh, rather than trivial matters like appearance. Or I'm glad to be judged by my actions, rather than trivial matters like appearance or race. The elf appears momentarily puzzled by your comment, but then offers you a dignified little bow. I feel like most reactions are just going to be like, what is this guy? <laughs> as yeah, far what as are I'm you? Concerned, you are noble and just in both actions and appearance. I am in your debt. She doesn't know you very well. Yeah, seriously. Uh, <laughs> we <laughs> got some information on a way out of here. I wonder if she could corroborate that with a way out. I hear of no escapes. The only way out is through. Through the Magisters, through their cure. Thugs, I can stand, but oh, I fear the Magisters. Okay, and who's in charge around here? In this cave, we trust the healer. She is young, but she sees. She knows more than we know. In the camp, the brute Griff rules. He who gives the bread has the power. I wonder, do you think there's any conflict between, like, Griff and Sahila? Like, or do they respect each other's kind of boundaries? Well, just... Based on her reaction to Griff, there's got to be, there's definitely some turmoil, and one of them was imprisoned, so. Fair enough. And how did you come to Fort Joy? It gives me great pain. I'm with my family. We are making beautiful magic. We are healing a tree cut down with great violence. The Magisters come. My family runs, but I fall. My son looks back. I shout to him to run. I am taken. That's an interesting way that she retells that. Wait, before you yeah, go... it's very, like, stunted. I am not here without your help. I do not forget this. For you, a prize. I save it for a special occasion, but... I can think of no finer occasion than this. Uh, she just gave us a severed head. Thank you. <laughs> of course she did. <laughs> a wonderful oh. prize. And we got more rewards. So we got more, oh, uh, cool. more gold, knockdown arrows, and then a choice of... Uh, mage's pants, so basically magic armor, skull cap, which is both types of armor, a uh, wooden pitchfork, it's a spear. I don't think we have a spear carrier, but I think it's, uh... What type of uh, weapon is it? Like, does he use strength or finesse? It's finesse. Okay. And then a simple belt, which is three physical armor. I think the skull cap's the best bet here. Magic yeah, pick something physical. for yourself, you know? You, you deserve it. Uh, yeah, exactly. I wasn't even thinking about me, but that's fine. Uh, this will replace sure, my tattered yeah. cowl, which is beautiful. <laughs> I don't know where I equip this. Look at my motorcycle helmet. It's great. Wait, I call a timer. You see it? All right, you're clearly just very, fucking lost in the menus. I can tell. Very lost nice. In the menus. I was lost in the menus. Yeah. God. Very, very nice. Okay. Yeah, you look real sexy. I'm gonna send you this uh, so severed head. I guess we probably yeah. want to eat this. Yeah. Give me that head. I'm gonna I'm gonna munch on that with Sabil. Okay. Cover your face with your hands. Whoa. Death fog destroyed the elven homelands. So we, we get like put into the place of the person whose body part it is, right? Exactly. So, did we know whose head this was? No idea. She just gave That's it to sad. us. That's crazy. Oh. New skill first aid. Oh, okay. Did you get that because you ate the head? I guess so. I guess we can get skills by eating body parts too. Oh, that's cool. I'm Very gonna cool. Send you, I can't uh, use it though because I need huntsmen, but that's fair fine. enough. I'm sending you an, a knockdown arrow as well. Perfect. Okay. Um, do you want to continue talking to people down here? 
Yeah, probably sure. Should. I'll talk to these kids here. We They'll also have to Lowe's. find that exit, so... Right. Is there anything here? Um... Not that I can see, but there's a lot of unrevealed territory, so... Okay. Maybe I'll check out in the uh, main map. Okay, while I'll talk to people. I can talk to the kids. I'm friendly. Yeah, right. You're not a skeleton at all. <laughs> she just said, you a human, you stink. <laughs> Doesn't like humans either, eh? I'll, I'll just talk to her and I'll give you an update when you come back. Okay. Um... You really shouldn't give in to just ugly prejudice. I know you are, but what am I? Oh god, okay. Whack! Back, evil ogre! Or I'll get you with my sword! Oh no, please don't slay me. <laughs> I'll spare you this time, beast! But don't cross me again! Ever! <laughs> You're really fun! Hey, I'm gonna hide somewhere in the cave, and you come find me! Ready? Set. Go. Okay, I'm, I'm playing hide and seek with the with this kid. Oh, and that's I'm, so cute. I'm literally watching to where he's going to hide. <laughs> so I think I. Found so you're cheating. Him. Well, I mean, it's, so you're he, cheating. He's not very good at hiding. It's a problem. But you're supposed to you're supposed to close your eyes. I think, aren't you? I did close my eyes. Oh, we have a traitor here. I should talk to as well. Uh. Set. Go. Oh damn! Now he went invisible. Okay, that's different. <laughs> <laughs> Not bragging anymore, are you? Oh. I can hear his footprints, or his footsteps. Oh, I think. Oh yeah. Oh, I remember this from the uh, early access. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah, yeah, I remember too that too. For you to squeeze Found into. something hidden out here, actually. There's a hole that's too small for me to squeeze into over here. Um, maybe I can get in there? Can you? Or maybe I Or I can, can you- Oh, oh never mind. I You're ran really into him, smart. I guess. There you go. I bet. You know what? I bet my best friend would really, really, really like Um, there's some treasure out here that Come the lizard on, can dig up. Okay, I'm talking to this kid. I know how to spell introduce. It's I-N-T-R-O-D-U-C-E. <laughs> Wow, good for you, buddy. I think he's going into this hole. I'm following this kid if I can. My way is too small for you. Oh. You'll have to find another. Hope you brought a shovel. What's this? Oh. We need a shovel, and now I can dig as well. I need to dig. Um. Fane can dig now. No, I need to find a shovel so that I can dig this hole. And well, then I can find this kid. Oh wait, the red prince the can dig. Reward. Oh, how'd you know that? Um, it said it in a tooltip here because I found a secret that oh, required digging. Okay, 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 okay. It said either a lizard or a shovel is required. Gotcha. So we have the lizard. Uh, I found an ancient stone hatch. I'll wait for you. You should probably come and check this out. I'm gonna head back over. Yeah, I couldn't find the passage, but there's some underground passage you that I couldn't see place, how to access. Pinky. I'm assuming that's the, the thing that he's talking about. Could be. Uh, I have a lizard trader in here, and he didn't like Fane very much. I'm going to talk to him with uh, the Red Prince. Probably not going to like the Red Prince either. <laughs> oh, shit. Red Listen to this. The exile. Yeah, pig. I'm listening. I heard they'd sent you here, but I'd hoped you'd have drowned yourself before crossing my path. Whoa. See, what did I say? They don't like him. He's exiled, right? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, come on. Um... Should I just punch him oh, in the you... face? <laughs> That's an option. Look, um... What do you think the Red Prince would do? I, I'm... Look, the Red Prince would say... <laughs> I'm a prince of the house, and you must bow before me. Bow before pigs, and you'll be stained with mud. I do not bow before pigs. Yeah, that went well. Okay, back to the undead guy. You are in the wrong place, Pinky. Look, I'm no Divine Order loyal. You don't have to fear me. Fear? <laughs> Pity, perhaps. A blind wolf may lead the pack, but sooner or later they will all starve. What do you mean by that? Never mind. 
If you need to suit up, I can offer you a fair price. If not, I would thank you to move on. Let's see. See, he's trading a bunch of stuff here. He's got um, warfare skills. So this might be good for the Red Prince. Some, yeah. Some of these things. Uh, like Crippling Blow. There's like a bunch of skill things here. How much do they cost? I imagine they're pretty expensive, eh? They're 300 gold. I have I have enough gold. I have 400. Okay. Um, but he's also got, like, a couple of daggers here. He's got um, a one-handed sword that could be pretty good for the Red Prince. Let's see how okay. this compares. Yeah, it's more physical. Oh, it's so, so expensive, though. 687 gold. Uh, but it's a unique sword. I think I'll maybe try to buy... Um... Let's see. There's Battering Ram. There's Bouncing Shield we already have. And I think we have Battle Stomp. I'm just gonna check our skills here. Real quick. Real fast. Real fast. There's um, some kind of barricade here. Yes, okay. We can check that out. I've got an extra memory slot. I think I should I think I should get another skill. Go for it. The I'm busting down this barricade. On his spear okay. And looks past you. Battering ram, rush forward in a straight line and set knockdown for one turn. Re resisted by physical armor. But I think this is good. Requires oh, warfare. There's durability on these uh, weapons. I forgot about that. Did your weapon just die? No. Still good, but. It's costing durability to destroy this. Gotcha. Yeah, so he's got two in warfare. Are you cool if I buy this thing? The soldier yeah, go for his it. Grip on his spear okay. And looks past you. Okay, I've got some poison here. All right. We now have a battering ram. I'm gonna shift this around a bit. There's poison there? That seems like it's my gem. I, I got rid of it. Oh. Where are you exactly? Oh, I see where you went. Um, I seem to remember there being like some tough enemy down here. Uh, yeah, I think this is probably a good place to take a break for a couple of reasons. Number one, um, this is like a whole new area. And number two, we've got, if you look up here, uh, I'll ping it. There is an Ooh. ancient stone hatch that we found because of that kid I was playing hide and seek with. So we probably want to check out both of these. Very cool. Yeah. So let's break here and then when we come back. We'll uh, continue down this path and see where see where it leads. Okay. I love that there's just so many different directions we can go in. It's uh, uh, it, it's exciting and it's kind of overwhelming, but I th I think we're we're doing things well ish. Yeah, we're, we're making progress, we're completing quests, we're getting to know the world and the characters a bit more, which is uh, a lot of fun. Exactly. All right, well, we'll see you guys next time. Take care.